Right, so all the ports are now cut out. We're now lining the bulwarks and cut out using a 3x3 three three mil strip. It's just going to go along the sides. And then we are going to plank over on the other side. And that's basically it. Uh, after you plank the sides, it'll come back. So um, I've just glued in the third plank. Uh, when these planks are dry, um, I'm going to do a cut on the other side as well, so the cut out goes through both sides. Um, but while this dries, I'm just framing these three gun ports at the back because they're framed with 1.5 times 4 millimeter wood because uh, they're going to have the fake uh, dummy gun ports. Um, these three. And these three here are all going to be framed with um, 1.5 by 8 mil wood. So, yeah, I'll, I'll just carry on framing these when it's dry, I'll cut it out and we'll start framing these gun ports. So, as you can see, these ports have been framed, these ports have been framed as well. Um, this um, is a little slot for the timber heads. I've drilled 0.7 holes ready for them in there. And I'm going to let the whole thing dry and I'm going to sand everything flush with the hole. And I've, but I've still got to repeat that on the other side there. And when that's done we will be adding the dummy gun supports on the back side here so now um, this side is completely finished this one's just I've just finished that side so it's just got to dry before I sand it but this one's sanded and complete um, once I've um, while I wait for that to dry I'm gonna start putting in the Dummy gun support, which involves uh, two lengths 100 mil long wood, and just doing it the same as we did everywhere, where you just insert the wood and then build it up by one layer. Um, so yeah, it's just simple stuff. And after that, I believe we are building the cabin partitions. So that's the first sort of interesting detailing that we do on the ship I believe apart from the insides but yeah it's not it's not too interesting so yeah I'll do that and then we'll come back to the cabin partitions right so um, I'm now going to start doing the cabin partitions what I've done is I've sanded all of it so it fits no higher than the support for the poop deck, I believe it's called. I'm not too sure. Um, so I've done that to all of these parts. And now what we are going to do is uh, do like these decorating parts um, around the edges, like that. And after I've done that, we will move on to the next bit. Right, so the cabin partitions are done. <coughs> what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to have to make these two beams and then one that goes on the mast, which I'm going to do now uh, while these dry up. And then after I've made these, I'm going to dye it with. Jacobian, 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 Jacko, Bean, Dark Oak. Because this is, I just found this in my garage. I was about to get reddish brown and then uh, water it down and then soak it into the wood. But I think this will give it a bit of a better finish. Um, yeah, I think this should be perfect to be honest for what we're doing. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that, and then we'll come back 
and we will be putting the uh, glazing on next I believe or the uh, for the window panes right so the cabin portion is now stained I, I didn't use the um, original stain I was going to use instead I used um, American Walnut um, the other Jacobin Dark Oak I believe it was I was going to use it gave it a bit of a um, gave it that which is a bit of like a a dirty wood that's been left out in the rain sort of look um, so I've given it this rich dark oak colour walnut sorry so now what I'm going to do is we have to use glazing provided here and we'll just put it onto the backs of these right so I'm now just putting everything together you have to make sure everything is all nice and square of course and I've just still got this beam to install and then after we'll put this in um, these doors, put the eye bolts in as handles it's all looking nice right, while I'm waiting for the cabin partition to dry I'm going to have to paint all of this inside bit yellow ochre being careful not to stain the deck so I'm going to do that, and once that's done and dry, and this is dry, we're going to install the cabin partition which you got here. You can see the partitions are now in. Um, what I'm doing now is making the beams uh, to start planking the poop deck. That's the first one now, um, that goes on the back. And once you've made those, we will uh, cut the frames, I believe. The frames have all been trimmed down. And what we're doing now is um, using a 3x3 three three strip, uh, cutting into 20 more lengths. And then put it like that, so it's 10mm protruding above this plank. And yeah. Right, so now we're putting the wheel in, which has been sanded to the right height where it sits flush with the decks above. And um, this is the first plank here in place beautifully. And now I'll stick that on next after I stuck the wheel on. The first planks in place. It's by far the best job of doing it, trimming around it the mast. Wheels in place as well. Nice and simple work. So yeah, what I'm going to do is just Plank the whole poop deck, and I believe after um, we are going to be um, planking up these three more strips. I continue um, waiting for this to dry this deck. Um, I'm going to start doing the opening here and start framing it and yeah right so the back planks are done here um, I've put this lip in and I've also done this border around the edge of 